it really started with a vision, a vision to provide more for our community and visitors than just skiing and recreation, to provide them with creative experiences. The thing that's really beautiful about Breckenridge, it's a really deep uh, creative community and certainly we have a lot of artists, musicians, actors uh, who make this their home, but all kinds of creatives and you can, you can feel it all throughout the downtown area. variety of artists and creatives who come to Breckenridge both to work as well as to live. I think on any given summer night there's street musicians out on the corners performing in our studios here in the Arts District, some great artists. And the beautiful thing about our Arts District campus as well, it's both for professionals as well as uh, amateurs, for folks who just want to try their hand at something. And to me that's the beauty of what we offer, a chance for professionals and novices to work together and, and create something. The mission of Breckenridge Creative Arts is really to promote Breckenridge as a year-round creative destination and we do that by offering these hands-on inspiring uh, collaborative opportunities for visitors uh, as well as local residents. Uh, it's a chance for people to come down, roll up their sleeves, um, try something they've never tried before. Um, and we like to say Breck Create because so many people come to this community to recreate. Um, it gives them another, uh, another experience here in, in beautiful Breckenridge. And when you have a, a backdrop of mountains uh, such as this and just the natural beauty, it, it's very inspiring for everyone. Well, the Breckenridge Arts District uh, is a new endeavor here in Breckenridge, Colorado uh, that was developed by the town of Breckenridge. It started about 13 years ago and it was really envisioned to bring people into downtown Breckenridge and really create a cultural corridor that was made up of um, studios and galleries and restaurants and cafes and just to really animate uh, downtown Breckenridge. Uh, and after 13 years of planning, uh, we've been very happy to, to launch uh, this endeavor this past September and now have this beautiful Arts District campus right in the middle of downtown Breckenridge. We really want art to be accessible to everyone. And so I think that because we have created this campus with really unique historic structures, people are curious about them, they feel unintimidated, they're able to wander in and discover artists working. And then we also offer a wide variety of workshops where there are traditional mediums like painting and drawing and beading, but also a few wacky things like encaustic painting. Uh, so it challenges you uh, to be, step outside of your comfort zone and try something new. I am the Director of Public Programs and Engagement, and so I have the honor of programming all of these wonderful facilities with art workshops and creative experiences. Well, I really love talking about the history of this arts campus, and it began in 2001 with the Backstage Theater Company approaching the Town Council on a place to continue performing here in town. And we really did not want to lose them, and so the town was looking for town-owned facilities that you know, might be adequate for a performing arts venue. And fortunately, the Seamus O'Toole Saloon was for sale. And so the town purchased that and partnered with the Backstage Theater Company to renovate that into an intimate theater. And shortly after that, the property here on the corner of South Washington and Ridge Street was also for sale. It was very timely that the town council was convinced to do a visit to or take a visit to Anderson Ranch, which is another artist community in Snowmass. And the town council was able to see how these old sheds and barns could be adaptively reused for artist studios. Our full name is Breckenridge Creative Arts and our nickname uh, Breck Create. We love that name because Breckenridge is really known as a recreational destination. And we really wanted um, our guests and visitors who come here for that recreation to also have a chance to explore their creative side. So whether they want to come down and try a pottery class, whether they want to take a textiles class, uh, a drawing class, all kinds of great things. Our campus is made up of eight different facilities and um, a lot of the facilities are rehabilitated structures. Uh, so that started 
started off as turn of the century barns and sheds and things like that. And we've repurposed them to be these creative spaces, to be studios uh, for people to really uh, practice their art or learn something new. So as an example, right now we're currently in the uh, ceramic studio, uh, but we have a textile studio, we have a glass working studio, uh, we also have two uh, resident artists um, homes here on our campus where guests from across uh, the nation and internationally uh, spend two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month with us and it gives them a chance in this beautiful, beautiful environment of Breckenridge uh, to practice their art um, and the one thing we just ask of those artists is that they open up their studios so visitors and locals can come in, talk with them, see what their art is, ask questions. So it's been a great program for us. I came to Breckenridge in early January 2014 um, and have been thrilled to have been given the opportunity to lead this new venture, Breckenridge Creative Arts. Um, so we've been slowly working this past year, building our team, uh, staffing it, uh, really looking at how we're going to develop our programs and just really animate and, and, and program uh, the various venues here. Uh, certainly we talked a little bit about the Arts District campus, uh, but we also manage a number of other facilities, cultural facilities, the Riverwalk Performing Arts Center, where uh, uh, just opened the new Speakeasy Movie Theater, uh, the Breckenridge Theater was going to be getting a renovation, um, as well as Old Masonic Hall, which opens next summer. So uh, it's, it's a very rich uh, community with lots of cultural facilities and again, lots of opportunities uh, for people to uh, participate in the arts.